I just want to start out by saying I appreciate everybody for watching. I'm actually making a dog bowl uh, holder for my dog. Um, the picture that you see of that one is the old one. It's extremely small and uh, every time we fed her she would push that underneath the cabinets. So I thought it was about time that I actually made a bigger one for her. One that she couldn't get underneath the cabinets and she's getting to be a little bit bigger now. So this is my mock-up part portion of the video where I'm going to put the legs, the holes, uh, there's an inch on either side and about three quarters inch on the far to near side for the legs. I like to drill multiple holes just in case on the scroll saw in case I need them. This next part was not planned. She just happened to be there and was there throughout the entire build. So this next part is me uh, routing the holes a little bit wider so the bowl would actually fit flat so I would not have a wobble. So if you've ever watched any of my other videos, uh, all my resin projects, I come up with a lot of extra resin and instead of just throwing it away I put it into a mold this case it was a heart mold and it was uh, a glow-in-the-dark resin so it just kept accumulating in there and I figured this would be a perfect project to actually use it on So the amount of sanding that was involved in this piece has actually been uh, severely edited out of it. Uh, there's a section of it where I will show you all of the grits that I used. Probably not in the right order, but all the grits nevertheless. It goes from 80 to about 5,000. This one I actually used the two part epoxy to hold the heart to the wood. Right here you'll see my first mistake. I used super glue when I shouldn't have. And I paid for this. Uh, after I was done with this I did a lot more sanding and realized that I literally had to take a pick and get in there to all those little cracks and pull all that super glue out because it made such a mess. Oh goody, more sanding. You should be so grateful that I sped this up. This is actually a 12 times. This is over an hour worth of sanding from 80 grit to 5,000 grit. It was such a pain in the butt. So this is my mock-up on the legs. What I'm trying to do is figure out exactly what side I want on the opposite on the outside of it. Um, I do love the knot look and on the other side there was uh, a bottom piece of a knot you can see right there that actually looked great. 
going uh, towards the top. An extreme lot of clamping in this one. I actually had to take a clamp and force one of the legs outward just to get it to line up straight. So right here the sander's got a clean bag in it. It's uh, The sawdust that's accumulated in it is a very fine powder. It actually helps me uh, correct a mistake. So I got all the super glue out and I went back with Type Bond 3. And I gotta push it into the cracks here. And then I go back with this very fine powder. I mean it honestly it looks like flour when you pull it out of that thing. And now I just have to sand it flat and flush again. And uh, this was about another hour's worth of work trying to get all the uh, the flour sandpaper or the the flour sawdust off of it. So what you just saw there was me throwing water on it to try to clean it off a little bit better. There's a jug that will come into play here in a second, and it's full of just water. That's it. So I'm using a Meguiar's fine cut and medium cut mirror glaze is what the container says. I really don't think it did much. I think the water did a heck of a lot better. And I probably won't use the stuff again. Here I'm just speeding up the effects of the glow in the dark and then there's a still image right afterwards. This is the finishing uh, polyurethane spray. I hit it with this, I wait until it dries, I hit it again, and then I hit it again with a 5000 grit sandpaper. Smooths it all out. Well, if you like the video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment. Have a wonderful day.